Hi, I'm Nick with Inflow Communications, and in this video we'll be talking about how to set up email notifications for various Shortel system events. From Director, uh, the first thing you need to do is on the left hand side, scroll down, and under the Maintenance section you'll see Event Filters. And by default there aren't any there, so you want to go ahead and click on Add New at the top. And here are all of our options. Uh, first off, you have the server. So if you have DVS is set up, um, you can choose which server you want to report these errors from. In this case, we're going to go with our main server. Uh, the source gives you a drop down list of Shortel services that you can choose from, or you can just click any. And then the event ID. If you have a specific event ID in mind, um, there are event IDs for things like TMS disconnects, um, for 911 calls is a fairly common one that we set up. Um, otherwise, you can just choose down below that uh, the type, uh, whether you want an error, warning, or informational, and then the email address that you'd like to choose. So for this one, I'm going to set up an alert so that if somebody dials 911, it's going to send me an email alert and you just put in your email address down below and click save and now if we go back to the event filter list you'll see my event filter here um, and I can go through and add a new one that is just for Let's go with errors on this one. And I'll set up one more. This time I'm going to do it for warnings. There are a lot of informational messages that get put into the event log. So it's uh, typically a good idea to only do warnings and errors if you're going to do that much reporting. Uh, I'll go ahead and save that. All right, now I have my three notifications set up. So if somebody calls 911, I'll get an email about it. Um, I've also set it up so that uh, if any Shortel warnings or errors get reported in the event log, it'll also email me those. Um, depending on what's going on, if there's some kind of power outage or something, uh, you might get a lot of messages. Um, there's also a short document that outlines all the various event codes. Uh, and you can always contact us to get some more of that information. Uh, and that covers setting up event filters in short Director. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us.